Janet. I'll be your instructor in your first week as the security guard here. If you like, please don't answer the phone. And just let me talk via the voicemail, just like you did. Okay, so, welcome to the Freddy's work team. You'll get pretty much fun here. Doing, uh, you know, your security guard labor. Checking out the cameras and sitting in your office and... Okay, maybe a little boring, but your job here is the key to keep our safety and our electricity costs low. Yeah, those robots consume a lot of electricity, so we must save our energy and use a power unit during the night to keep our electricity bill low. Or, at least not too high. It's been a mess around here since they bought those characters. They got the spotlight and everybody's caring more about their maintenance than other important stuff like the cleaning. Seriously, the building is dirty and neglected. On the other hand, the guys who make the pizza are not being paid well, so the quality of the food has gone down. Even though the popularity of this place has been skyrocketed, everyone's here to see the robot's performance. They don't care if the meal's trash. Oh, I forgot I'm supposed to give a good impression of this place to you. Well, I like to be honest with others. That's how I am. You don't really have much to do right there. Just watch those monitors and report any incidents that may occur. It's very quiet around here. Just try not to fall asleep and keep an eye on the animatronic characters. Maybe they are a target for burglars since they have advanced technology parts or something. Those robots never gave me a good feeling, to be honest. Anyways, you got this, honey. You just stay awake and be sure to keep this place safe if anything happens. Please let me know to proceed with the corresponding protocols, or maybe just call the police since you're, like, alone there. Don't worry! You have stuff to protect yourself, and you have an entire door locking system. You can activate it. But I recommend you switch the power source before, because the power unit can't handle it for so long, and maybe it will run out of gas faster than usual. However, I'm not the right person to explain that to you. You may need to talk to Becca, the technician, and let her teach you how to do it. I honestly don't think you'll need it since that's something to be used in a critical situation I've never seen it used. And I've been working there years ago, but you never know. It wouldn't hurt to learn how to activate it, I mean, activate it with the actual outlet. I gotta mention that you're not alone right there. They also have something in the office, in the gift box right behind you. It's something like a doll. Kinda scary in my opinion, maybe that's the reason why they stored it. Probably that's the kind of prototype of the ones in the stage. I really don't know exactly. They bet on the animatronic show since a couple of years ago. It seems like they succeeded with that one, but they never got rid of it. I'm still thinking the fact that they can reply to you and can keep a conversation is so uncanny. Did you know they're inspired by that all-females 80s band called Silicon Butt? They're literally a parody of them! But now they're animals, and they're called Cyclone Butters or something like that. They have a similar name. I don't know how they haven't been sued for plagiarism. Anyways, I'll let you concentrate on your work. And please stay awake and be alert. You'll be there until 6 in the morning, so please be as preserving as you can. Good luck, and see you tomorrow.
yesterday. Maybe you suggested yourself too much that you started seeing some hallucinations. I don't know if you know it, but machines need a power source to work. They're practically plugged in the entire day. It's true that they can walk, but it's a limited range to the space of their stage. They have freaking cables attached. Also, why are you mentioning to me just now? You had the entire day yesterday. Also, that marker you used is permanent. I mentioned you the fact that we don't have enough cleaning staff. Listen, I know that this is your first week and it may be hard for you to get used to it, but I assure you that robots will move in their place. Try to relax and not think too much about them. Just worry about keeping the space in order to prevent people from entering at night. If you start to feel stressed or have a headache, you can use some stuff in the first aid kit. You can take a pill or something, but I think there's just like five. You have to buy more if you need. Now that I remember, the camera pointing towards the street may not be working properly. Apparently someone painted it black with a can of spray, which means someone tried to rob here before you started your week. Please don't be paying attention to this. Oh right, I'm the one in charge. I guess I'll report it to the police. If they do anything about it, the camera in the kitchen doesn't work either. That's because one of the employees lost their temper with the previous manager and threw something at the camera. I hope it wasn't a knife, otherwise we'd have to buy you a new cam. As you notice, we have a lot of stuff to deal with while the boss is busy on his entertainment scrap. He earns a lot of money while our pay slowly decreases. Hopefully they'll get rough soon and stop working so we can get back our jobs. I've heard that they even want to replace the waiters with that yellow girl. 
Well, the good thing is that you won't even notice it. If your work starts with nobody there, you have nothing to worry about. I don't think they'll replace security guards with robots, right? They can't recognize criminals. They're not that advanced. Well, at least I hope so. Gotta mention you, don't waste energy. You don't want to be in the dark. I noticed that you probably used the doors last night. They had to fill the tank of the power unit. You better switch to the new power source if you want to use the security system. Anyways, I hope things get better for you this time. Remember, try to relax and focus on your main task. Good night! If you excuse me, I'm just gonna kick my feet up and relax for a bit. They can walk, but it's a limited range to the space of their stage. They have freaking cables attached. Also, why are you mentioning to me just now? You had the entire day yesterday. Also, that marker you used is permanent. I mentioned you the fact that we don't have enough cleaning staff. Listen, I know that this is your first week and it may be hard for you to get used to it, but I assure you that robots won't move in their place. Try to relax and not think too much about them. Just worry about keeping the space in order and prevent people from entering at night. If you start to feel stressed or have a headache, you can use some stuff in the first aid kit. You can take a pill or something, but I think there's just like five. You have to buy more if you need. Now that I remember, the camera pointing towards the street may not be working properly. Apparently someone painted it black with a can of spray, which means someone tried to rob gear before you started your week. Please don't be paying attention to this. Oh right, I'm the one in charge. I guess I'll report it to the police. If they do anything about it... The camera in the kitchen doesn't work either. 
That's because one of the employees lost their temper with the previous manager and threw something at the camera. I hope it wasn't a knife. Otherwise, we'd have to buy you a new cam. As you notice, we have a lot of stuff to deal with while the boss is busy on his entertainment scrap. He earns a lot of money while our pay slowly decreases. Hopefully we'll get rest soon and stop working so we can get back our jobs. I heard that they even want to replace the waiters with that yellow girl. Well, the good thing is that you won't even notice it. Since your work starts with nobody there, you have nothing to worry about. I don't think they'll replace security guards with robots. Right. They can't recognize criminals. They're not that advanced. Well, at least I hope so. Gotta mention you. Don't waste energy. You don't want to be in the dark. I noticed that you probably used the doors last night. They had to fill the tank of the power unit. You better switch to the U power source if you want to use the security system. Anyways, I hope things get better for you this time. Remember, try to relax and focus on your main task. Good night! Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Slice your neck with my hook.
ready. <laughs> No, 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 you're playing. How could they do so? It doesn't even have metal rods inside. You better close the box as well. And please stop trying to scare me. I told you those scraps have a threatening aura. inside them. Something like batteries, I guess? I don't know why nobody told me that before. Am I missing something? Even if they can do that, nobody told them to She said they're still prototypes since the portable mode is still in the testing phase. But after hearing what you said, I gotta say that they just can't. It's physically impossible. They're made of metal. An entire armor of metal inside them. They can't walk as freaking humans. And more important, run! It's freaking crazy, man. I, I don't have any effect for it. We don't have any protocols in case the robots start to walk and run around the building. I must tell the boss around this. Malfunctioning crap. Anyway, Becca says she deactivated them. So I think everything's gonna be quiet for you at last. So I'm worried about this and I don't want you to be in a risky situation in any way. So please take that care of me. Really call me if anything happens. Don't you think we deserve at least a raise for dealing with this? They don't even spend enough money to fix their buggy software. I think Becca's the only one working on it. They won't even give us a break, won't they? I hope tonight is peaceful for you. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow.
open the damn door. And if I do... <laughs> Thank you. 
Because if you're hearing this, run away that damn place. I saw them. They're doing weird stuff. They started acting like humans or whatever they are. We honestly don't know what the heck's happening to them. I talked with the technician and she's just so shocked about it. They suddenly stopped obeying their code or something. I don't even know much about it, but what I'm sure of is they are not supposed to act like this. Even the police are investigating the incident unsuccessfully because apparently when something falls, falls apart or unless they try to see malfunctioning, they just return to normal? Look, I never believe in ghosts or any other suggestions, but this has gone too far. Why don't you see any ghosts around here? Like a little child crying. I remember me seeing it once when I was a security guard, but I thought it was just my imagination. As you can see, I'm so stupid that I try to blame this all on a ghost. I, I don't think I'm the right person to deal with this. Why are you going to die? If you were there and still listening, run, run away from there. They surely will move again. As they've been watching, they're chasing you and trying to hurt you. Have you ever seen Chucky? You should know what happens next. If you don't, I'll tell you. They're going to kill you. Seriously, please quit or something. This is not worth it. I can't take this anymore. I'm leaving this place for good. It was nice meeting you. Good night, Shara. slice your neck with my hook.
All the way, guys. I think it's time we say hello.
Oh wait, it's me. If I do, <laughs> you think you can keep me on forever? That bitch! Did she just do it on me? Time we say hello. Those doors won't protect you all the night. 